So it's been 195 NRL games, 20 tests for the Kiwis, and one game for the Blues. <laughs> Roger Tuovasa's check is back in rugby union. Thanks for joining us. Great to have a chat. Ironically, the start's at a wet rugby league park in Wellington, yeah. pre-season against the Hurricanes. Oh, first thing I want to ask you, Roger, is, is how were the nerves going in? I remember when I went from one sport to another, and the first time, and even now, I remember when I started playing golf and people were watching me. How were the nerves from the fact that maybe no crowd, but how did you feel about, you know, all of a sudden when that first whistle goes and go, well, we're into this, it's, it, it's on. Yeah, it was um, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, I think I was the rain kind of helped a bit with the nerves because before I was going in, make sure I nail my job, make sure I'm in the right position, make sure. But with the rain, all I was just thinking about, make sure I catch this ball, make sure I'm in the, I don't slip over, I, I don't miss a tackle in this rain. So um, the rain played a part in, in that, just helping me just focus on on the little things. So yeah, it wasn't too bad, and I'm glad that you know got one game um, under the belt, uh, not official game, but it was still a game. Was there a million game. million things? going on in your head leading into the game? You know, all of the work you've done, all the training, the delays in getting to play, given the fact you didn't get the chance last year because of obvious circumstances. Did you sort of, how did you, how did you reduce it all down to the fact, okay, um, I'm just going to, did you even enjoy it? Did you even enjoy the, that, that, that 50 minutes? No, I, I loved it. You know, I really enjoyed it. Um, I've, I've been hanging out waiting for a game, uh, you know, Especially, I, I came over quite early from the Warriors to try and get a game with the Auckland NPC, but that fell short. And then, you know, went into another preseason with the Blues, and then now I'm getting a game. I'm excited. Here we go. And, you know, we're in pouring rain in the Rugby League Park in Wellington. And, you know, was, everything just, you know, it was exciting. And I just, I was just happy to play and uh, made a few mistakes there, which I'll take the lessons and, you know, got to get some body contact again and go live. So yeah, no, look, you played exciting. in secondary school though. I mean, and you you were you were you were great at school. Did it did it feel like the same game though you played when you were a kid? Definitely not. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people saying, "Oh, he's played rugby before. He should be sweet." And definitely, it's a different game. You know, it's a different type of environment. There's a lot of um, little techniques and tips there that I'm still trying to work on. And um, especially in that ruck, you know, I'm I'm just running into the ruck trying to trying to clean someone up. I know there's a hierarchy, there's a, you got to latch on, there's a clean out. It's, there's all little things that uh, we're at the moment. It's, it's real technical. I'm trying to I learn played it. 60 tests and never went to a ruck. I mean, that's the, that was the beauty <laughs> of when I played. My number on the back designated, you don't need to go to that ruck. You know, you guys have got to do it all now. I mean, you talked about, it's the preseason, right? And I, I wanted to ask you, mm. you've had years and years of preseasons in rugby league. And yep. they're notoriously, like, Legion tells me, they're notoriously tough, right? They just, they run you and run yep. you and run you. And it, it, does it, yep. this feel significantly different? It does. It does massively. And I actually really enjoyed this preseason um, because there was a big month where we came in in November. As you do with the, with the league, you come in early November and you just get to groundwork. You just go head down, you go to work. You don't hardly see the ball. You're just getting conditioned. And in December, instead of doing another um, Groundhog Day, the, the Auckland or Blues actually said, okay, go away and everything is player-driven. So that's that's one thing I felt was, was awesome. I, I was able to go away and focus purely on my craft and, and I didn't have a schedule to it. I had to do it all myself. I had to link up with coaches. I had to link up with other players away from the Blues environment. And I thought that's, that's where you actually put in why you're a professional athlete because – you make these decisions where you go in the in the league. It's from Monday to it's Friday or Saturday. It's this time, seventy and start ninety, and it's they they paint it all out for you. Where in rugby, that's the probably the best thing I enjoyed. It was it was all player driven. Come that whole month. And that, was that a case of you then knowing you know you, you get more familiar with the things that you know you need to work on? You're sitting there going, you know what, I've got that nailed. I'm in great condition. I'm in good neck. I don't need to go through yeah. the, the overdo that too much. Is that what? you got the sense you were able to do? So if I came into training, I would have done a little bit of passing, a little bit of kicking, a little bit of speed, a little bit of power, a little bit of where I can say, okay, I'm coming in as a midfielder. I want to be able to distribute the ball real quick. I want to work on my passing. I need to work on my rucks. I don't know how to clean. I need to put more emphasis on that. So that's probably the best thing about it. I was able to get real key focus and just work on the crafts and just be real specific with it and not just, try and do all the little things over the over the one month. So do you think then, uh, now you've been in this rugby environment, yes, you've just played the one game, and 
you talk about pre-seasons. I'm really interested in the cultures, the, the two different cultures, because the, the games themselves, at the heart of it, have a similarity. But, of course, the rules are completely different. But, but there's a different level, or they're two different professional games. I mean, have you, have you thought about that already, the fact that, you know, what, what, what does feel different in terms of a culture of a rugby team versus a culture of a rugby league team? Um, not so much, to be honest. I haven't really, because my, my head's just been just down and just trying to learn as much as I can. And um, With the coaches, you know, boys will be boys. It's always a great time with the team. And, um, you know, I think both similar, the Warriors and the and the Blues are still trying to, you know, trying to go that next level with their accountability and be able to put it straight on each other and, and try and be as, as good as other teams um, that you've heard of. Um, but that's probably the main the main two. You know, we all enjoy our time together, but we're both trying to, trying to go that next step about, you know, drilling each other and tipping each other up and trying to be better, um, because everyone everyone wants to everyone wants to be be great in some way. And um, but what's the again? It's that player driven in the rugby side that I'm, I'm really enjoying. Is there banter on both sides though? Let's be honest, like you know, like is there a bit of give and take? Yeah. You know, is is it is that side of it even even the same? Yeah, that's that's that side's the same. Which um, I get, like I was saying, boys will be boys. You know, everyone's competitive. Everyone who's who's in the rugby league or rugby union code, you've got to be a competitor and um, they compete in every little things. If we're not on the field, we're competing at cards. If we're, you know, on in the gym, we're trying to compete on who can lift the most. And that's that's the same, which I, I enjoy that. So hold on, so you're playing cards? Is there old school cards going on? Like, what, what, are, what, are, what are you guys playing? We used to play up the creek and we used to play all these things. What is it? Is it still yeah. rolling? Is that still around? Yeah, 500. Um, uh, me and me and Skivy are... Uh, are giving lessons out here, giving Luke and Lasatius a lesson. Um, a bit of poker yeah. going on, a bit of poker game going on. Um, what else is there? Is, um, yeah, parts, there's also parts, trying to We used to call it Black Bitch, I think was what the name of it. They used to call it. But, um, yeah, wow. but I mean, it, to, to me, this it, it's great to know you still do those things, you know, because, yeah. because like you say, there's a lot of time when you're with each other, particularly even now. I mean, you've got three weeks of it, right? You know, yeah. and, and yeah. the All Blacks last year went through yeah. sort of three months of it. So, I mean, that that chemistry you find in a group. I've got to ask you this, though, because I have a huge amount of respect on both sides of the sports, right? I'm sort of quizzing you a little bit here because I'm fascinated <laughs> by the whole thing. Is there a different toughness, like a toughness between a rugby league player and a, and a rugby union player? You know, because what rugby league players have to sort of put themselves through and the NRL competition is incredibly tough and difficult. Like it's 22, 23 weeks of continuous grind and then they throw in a few yeah. test matches for you to go and play and you know that you get the sense that there's a the fact that you have to play a bit banged up a lot right to, to, to get yourself through it do you think there's a different toughness between the two sports yeah I think that's a um, yeah that's a really good question and I don't think I'm going to have that answer for you today on which is the toughest because um, yeah you'll get both both um, codes fighting at it but it's different that's probably the, the word they're both different and they're both tough in their own way um, with the league and in, in the league there, of course, it's, you know, up and down, crashing constantly and there's less stoppages. But in union, there's just the constant mental of mental um, fatigues of just watching what's in front of you, smashing your body. And, and then there's a, bigger, there's a lot yeah. of bigger boys in, in union as well. So there's a lot of difference. So there's, there's different toughness and um, they're both oh, tough, um, which is tougher. No, yeah, yeah, but extra. that's the thing. I mean, I just get the sense. I, I Absolutely. I respect both sides of it. And, and, you can see how even in rugby league the games changed with the the six again and you know all of a sudden players seem to be that have to be that little bit fitter, um, but it's an incredibly physical and dominating sort of sport. You know that you have, have you have you checked in with the Warriors boys? Is there still a bit you know a conversation going on with them? And have they asked you how things are going? Yeah, for sure. I've um, I think the one thing I keep telling them about how how much I'm loving the preseason and. Um, I think they get a bit jealous about that, that period that I get off in, in December. Um, they couldn't believe it. Um, and I was trying to tell their, their trainer and their coaches, but I think they're too tied up with their old school. But no, I still try and keep in touch as much as I can. Um, I even do with the roost, my old Roosters mates too. So I'm uh, still a big fan of both the, the Warriors and the Roosters and will continue to support, especially the, um, the Warriors. Has boys. there been any point, Roger, where you've gone, you know, even through all of these things and you've gone to yourself... I wonder whether I made the right call here. You know, I'm, you know, is there any point you've gone, man? This is, this is, has it been, has it been tougher than you thought it would be? Has it the fact? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm starting to get it. Has there been a point, even when in the game you've gone, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this is something I really, I know I've made the right decision. I just want to, I just want to keep doing this and playing and playing and playing. 
Yeah, it just got to the, the towards the back end of the preseason. I just wanted more and more games. So that's why with the Wellington game, I was really excited because, you know, we, we trained, as, trained as much as we could and then come to games. And that's that's where I said that, you know, I really just want more and more games so I can get a feel for it. But I'm definitely really happy with my decision I made. You know, I'm home. I'm with my family. Uh, I'm playing for the Blues, another Auckland team. And I grew up in Auckland. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy where I am. And, you know, now we're in Queenstown, but a good bunch, bunch of crew, uh, boys here. And, um, yeah, I just want more games so I can get, get the feel of it. But, yeah, still not 100% on, on my position and my roles. I need to focus and put my head down and just keep How much games. time are you spending with the coaches? I mean, you know, when you're, when you're sitting there and going, you know what, I need to know. Is that, I mean, is that, is that a place where you know that you need to absorb the information? Is that, is that the place you know where you need to spend your time? Coaches and players are my, my go-to. Um, those are the guys who I go to and go, hey, I just did this. What do you think? Or I go to the coaches, hey, was this right? Was that right? Um, or what could I have done here? Um, those are the questions that I go to with the coaches. And I feel like I need to. Uh, there's um, one more preseason game before round one. And, um, yeah, that will, um, that's the, the dream at the moment is try and make that you round see, one. Is it bring it on for you? Is it just bring it on now? And, and, yeah. and I, I want to ask you this. How much of Super Rugby had you watched – before you came back to the game, had you had kept an eye on it? Had you watched a lot of it? I mean, were you a, an All Blacks fan? Were you that traditional, you know what, I want to watch the All Blacks play? You know, was that, you know, you weren't just focused on the one thing you were doing and obviously and doing it incredibly well. Was there always that when you look at the game of rugby union going, you know what, you know, I, I, I look at that and I've watched it and I'm, I've got a sense I want to be a part of it? Yeah, I definitely follow, follow the rugby and especially the Blues again, being Auckland and Whenever the New Zealand teams go ahead of each other, and um, I, I came, I think I moved back in 2016 and 2017 or 18 at the Lions tour, and uh, I was lucky enough to go to one of those games and the stage that they're playing on. I was kind of sat there and looked around and said, "Wow, this is this is the stage playing in Eden Park, full stadium. These are the stages, and where because I'm a competitor, this, this is where I want to be challenged in the big stages like this. And you know, a little um, a lot of times that played in the back of my mind, should I have a crack at this or not? But yeah, now that you know I'm here, I'm, I'm really excited about this this new journey that I'm in, and just ready to get stuck into. Just it. lastly, mate, and and look, I, you know, I've been, I've been fortunate enough to to have similar opportunities in sport, but there's always that little bit of expectation, you know, the, the fact there's been a lot of talk and a lot of chat, and, I, and that's why I'm grateful you've had the chance to come have a yarn to us, you know, because yeah. I understand and yeah. I get that, you know, because it's it, you want to get out and just let let the play um, do it for you, right? Yeah. You just want to I'll let my my talking yeah. do it on the field, you know, but. For you, how, how are you dealing with that? I mean, who are the people you you know you um that you have to you, you're going to trust to to support you through the the good and bad? Because like you know, there's going to be some highs and lows, you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like you said, that this was my my biggest thing was not to come out here and um, throw the pom poms and say, you know, here I am, I'm a blue man. I was meant to. I really wanted to make it official by putting all my work into the preseason and earning a spot in round one and um, putting it all on the field so I can really earn the groundwork and earn, earn the players' respect before I'm out here waving the flag. Um, but, yeah, for me, I, I put my expectation on myself. So um, doing that just means I'll just clear out all the other noise and I'll just go to work. And, um, you know, there's always my, my old man there. There's my manager there. There's um, a little circle that I have that I, I keep going back to. But at the end of the day, there's only the expectation is on myself. So um, any other noise is, is just noise. For me. I think that's a perfect way to end it, mate. It really is because I, I'm excited you're here. I'm realistic, though, as well, the fact that it'll take some time. But I can't wait to see you in round one. It's going to be in Dunedin. It's going to be under the roof, even better, because you'll have perfect conditions to go out and show what you're capable of. Thanks for joining us on the Breakdown Pod, mate. Look after yourself, and I can't wait to see you during the season. Cheers, mate. Thank you, Jeff. Stay safe. That's gold, man. Thank you so much, eh? Good.